Hey everyone, I'm Tatiana, and today I'm going to be sharing with you six ways that you can increase your Amazon sales this year so that you can profit big. So let's get started because I've got a lot to share with you. Tip number one is to set up your automated Amazon follow-up series. So using a software, you can link it with your Amazon account and you can set it up uh, so that your customers receive automatically a series of emails from you, the seller. Now, as you know, Amazon will send them emails to confirm their order, to give them tracking information, all of that stuff, because Amazon with FBA provides a level of customer support. However, it's valuable for your customers to also receive emails from you as the seller. It's a great way for you to enhance the customer's experience, give them a way to communicate with you, the seller, and you can even share a little bit about your brand and just build a better customer experience. So there are many points in time where you might send them an email. First, when they place an order to confirm their order. Again, Amazon's gonna do that, but it's great to have an email from the seller. Introduce yourself and give them a way to communicate with you if they do have any questions or concerns. Two, when the order is in transit, just giving them a courtesy email to let them know, hey, your order's on the way, just wanted to let you know. Number three, when the order arrives, so when they receive the package, you can say, I understand that you received the package, just wanted to check in, make sure that uh, you're happy with it. If there was anything that was damaged during transit, please do let me know so that we can help you out. So if they do have concerns, if they do have hesitations, rather than going and leaving you a negative review on Amazon, they now can communicate that with you and you can help make things right. And the fourth one is to ask for a review. Now this is really valuable because you know that reviews are everything on Amazon. It builds social proof. So when prospective customers come to your Amazon listing, they see that there are other people like themselves who have purchased your product and have had a satisfactory experience and have enjoyed your product. And so reviews are really valuable and a lot of people don't know how to get reviews, but you don't want to forget that you're allowed to ask your customers to leave you a review. It does follow Amazon's terms of service. As long as you're not bribing them to give you a review or not incentivizing them to leave you a positive review. Just ask them genuinely, please share with me your honest feedback. Leave me an honest review. And so you can send that final follow-up email to them asking for that review, letting them know, hey, uh, we're a small business, we've just started selling on Amazon, it would really mean a lot for you to leave me that review and chances are oftentimes they do go ahead and do that so this is something that you set up once you write the emails yourself or you can follow some templates you set it up and you forget it and this is really important you don't want to skip this step because it's going to really enhance the customers experience number two build your email list now this is something that oftentimes new Amazon sellers neglect or forget to do. They think that maybe this is something that people need to do if they're selling on their own website, but for myself, because I'm simply selling on Amazon, I don't need to build an email list. And I would say you don't want to follow that way of thinking. Definitely make the effort to build your email list. It is going to serve you long term because by building an email list, you now give you now have a way to actually communicate with your customers and communicate whatever you'd like. Yes, you can communicate with your customers through Amazon's messaging platform, but you're limited with what you can say because through Amazon's system, those are Amazon's customers. And Amazon makes that very clear to you uh, with their terms of service that they're Amazon's customers, not your customers, and they don't want you to be marketing them or taking them away from the Amazon platform. So building an email list is key because because um, you have to understand the long-term value of your customers, building a relationship with them, and it's gonna be far more easy for you to sell to an existing customer who had a great experience with you, who has purchased from you in the past and is happy with that purchase, than to attract a new customer. It's gonna cost you more money to, to get a new customer than it is to sell to an existing customer. And so through your email marketing, you can send them emails on a regular basis, add value to them, build a relationship, but also market them other products that you're selling or remarket them the product that they already bought or give them a discount on the product that they already bought to make a second purchase or a purchase as a gift for a family or friend during the holidays. So building your email list is absolutely key 
and you do have to be a little bit cautious about how you do it. You can't be advertising your email list on your Amazon listing, um, but you can create an insert that goes into your product packaging and gives people a way to sign up for your email list. And so a lot of people do this through, for example, a warranty for their product, um, you know, get a, a, a one year warranty in order to register for this warranty. You have to go to this website and on the website, they enter their name and email and then they're registered for the warranty, but they're also subscribed to your mailing list. Now, there are many ways that you can start building your email list off of Amazon through social media or doing some Facebook paid advertising, as long as you create and offer something of value. So whether it's a discount on your product, like a really amazing discount, a really great deal, where in order to claim it, they have to enter their name and email, um, or if it's uh, like a free training or an ebook or a, a PDF guide, you know, it depends on what your product is and who your audience is. But the key is just creating something of value so that they will give you their email, their contact information in exchange for that piece of value. Number three, create social contests. So this is another way to capture leads and it's actually extremely effective because who doesn't like free stuff? So if you can do some sort of giveaway on Instagram, maybe you're giving away your product, um, maybe you're doing a promotion, maybe you're collaborating with some other brands to do like a whole package, so like a bigger giveaway. Um, these types of contests doesn't have to just be on Instagram, could be on YouTube, could be on Facebook, whatever social platform. These social contests tend to be extremely effective. Now you may not gain the highest quality leads or the most targeted leads, but nonetheless you're able to build a list. And this can be very helpful because there will always be a percentage of them who will buy a product that you later offer to them. Number four, have your Amazon account audited. Everyone makes mistakes, including Amazon. One of the simplest ways to grow your Amazon business is to ensure that the profits that you earn go straight to your pocket. But if you're selling using Amazon's fulfillment center, there are many points in time when Amazon could be making mistakes that are costing you money. At any point in the Amazon inventory cycle, there is a potential for 30 different points of failure from the point of distribution to fulfillment to customers and customer returns just create more room for error. So a few different places where you might see some errors that Amazon makes that cost you money are improperly received inbound shipments. So maybe you didn't receive the right number of units that you had shipped to Amazon. I had this happen to me or items damaged in the Amazon FBA warehouses or items that go missing in the Amazon FBA warehouses. The cost of these fulfillment errors should be reimbursed to the sellers by Amazon. But oftentimes Amazon doesn't reimburse the sellers unless the sellers request it. So most often these errors go unnoticed by both Amazon and the seller and it's up to the seller to detect these errors and then to submit cases to Amazon requesting that reimbursement. But these cases, finding these errors and submitting these cases, it's just a very lengthy, time-consuming process. And let's be honest, you know, this is not the most effective use of your time. As a seller, there are other things that you could be doing. But don't worry, there is an easy solution to this. Today's video is sponsored by Sifted an always on software that will audit your Amazon account to detect these errors and then submit claims on your behalf in order to receive your reimbursements. It's a really awesome software because you just kind of set it up, turn it on, and then it's running 24 seven for you and it does all the heavy lifting for you. It will detect all of these errors and it will submit these claims to Amazon to get those reimbursements for you so you really don't have to do anything. Sifted will find potential shipping and fulfillment issues for you automatically. And sellers don't have to file cases with Amazon. Sifted will do it for them. And for some types of errors, they can secure refunds for up to 18 months back. It costs nothing to sign up with Sifted. There's no out of pocket cost. Sifted just takes a percent of what they save you. So if you don't save with Sifted, you don't pay. Sign up, link your account, and let the Sifted experts get to work. It's free to do this, and it's really valuable because then you can see if Amazon owes you money. Maybe they don't owe you anything and that's wonderful, but chances are once you do the audit, you're gonna see that Amazon owes you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. It was the case for myself. 
So you can go to tatianajames.com slash sifted to sign up for your free account, or you can click the link in the description box below. Now, I will mention that Sifted was previously known as Veriship. Um, so they are the same company. I just wanna let you guys know that um, in case you're wondering because I mentioned this audit service in previous videos. Tip number five is to create some video demonstrations. Video is so powerful. I don't need to tell you that. That's why you're here watching a YouTube video right now. It's particularly important in e-commerce. In traditional retail, a customer can use their senses to experience the product fully. They can hold it, they can see it, they can smell it. With e-commerce, they can't. So with video, you now create an opportunity where they can experience the product in different ways. You can show it to them more, you can explain the product, you can demonstrate it. So I recommend creating a demonstration video for your product. You can insert video into your Amazon listing if you have brand registry. So any registered brands uh, selling on Amazon are able to embed videos into their product listing and I highly encourage you to do that. Now you may have seen this before with certain Amazon listings who have A plus content previously known as enhanced brand content. So sometimes they'll have the images and the last one is a video or sometimes it might be a video in the description area. It's really important, it makes the world of a difference when converting a prospective customer into a buyer. Now the type of video that you want to insert into your Amazon listing is something that will explain the product, demonstrate the product, really just address any questions that that prospective customer might have. If you can answer those questions through that video, that's awesome. Now to demonstrate better what type of video you would want to include in your Amazon listing, I'm gonna share with you a clip from a video from Sifted where they explain the fulfillment errors that Amazon makes that can cost sellers money, and then they present their software where they can audit your Amazon account for you. The journey of an Amazon package from your hands to the customers isn't always a smooth, straight road. It can go wrong in many ways, including some you should be reimbursed for. Sometimes Amazon misplaces items in their fulfillment center, causing you to lose both the value of the items and the profits from their sale. If Amazon puts your product in the wrong category, you could pay higher listing fees, and your item might not show up in a customer's search, causing you to miss out on a sale. Amazon could damage your item before it ships out to a customer, resulting in a return, an unhappy customer, and a potentially damaging review. Speaking of returns, Amazon sometimes issues a refund for a customer's purchase that arrived too late, was returned in poor condition, or didn't contain the correct item. It's up to you to catch FBA errors like these if you want to be reimbursed. But who has the time? And do you know all the errors you should be looking for? Our FBA audit does. It's your silent partner in getting your money back from Amazon. Now the sixth and final tip is influencer marketing. This is a game changer for online business. I know many people who started an Amazon business didn't have any followers on social media, didn't have an email list, didn't have any business experience, but learned the value of influencer marketing, leveraged influencers, and now they have a thriving brand with a ton of social proof. So the idea of influencer marketing is you go and you find influencers. These are people who have a presence on social media. They already have a following on social media. And you find people within your niche, people who are kind of sharing an interest in the same topics, talking about the same thing. So for example, if you're in the fitness niche, you would go and you'd be looking for an influencer in the fitness niche. And then you would approach them and you would collaborate and agree to some terms. And then essentially they're gonna be promoting your product to their audience. Now, the value in this is because they worked hard to build an audience. They built an audience that likes, knows, and trusts them. And if they recommend a product to their audience, their audience is gonna be far more likely 
to listen to their recommendation and potentially buy that product than if you were to advertise cold ads on Facebook to random people. You know, so they're much more likely to buy and take a recommendation from someone that they already follow, that they already trust. And so this is really awesome for you if you're just getting started and you don't have any followers on social media, you don't have an email list, you know, you don't necessarily need to. Yes, you want to build something of your own, but you can leverage what someone else has already created. You make it a win-win-win, so a win for you because you get to leverage their platform, a win for the influencer because they'll get compensated, and a win for their audience who gets introduced to your awesome product. So you now get to use that platform to share and broadcast your product with a thousand people, 10,000 people, and these are targeted people because these are people who are also into fitness because they are following this influencer who is in the fitness niche. So I highly recommend exploring influencer marketing more. It may not be a fit for every single product. It depends on what kind of product you're selling, but for the vast majority of products, this could be really powerful. So these are my tips for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And once again, I wanna remind you about Sifted. Um, Sifted is an excellent software. They do far more than just doing the Amazon audit, but this is what I wanna share with you today because it's a very simple way to save money in your business, actually just retain the money that you actually made because technically that's your money. Amazon's supposed to be reimbursing you for that money, but they oftentimes don't. So I recommend going and signing up on the website, going to tatianajames.com slash sifted or clicking the link in the description. Again, it's free to get your account audited and you can see how much money Amazon owes you in a really short period of time. So definitely recommend it, check it out. If you have questions about that, let me know in the comment section below. And I will link any resources that I mentioned in the description box below. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.